Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how you can calculate absorption coefficient. For this purpose, I will model a one-port impedance tube. I select the 3D geometry, then I click on pressure acoustic physics. In the select study window, I'm going to choose the frequency dummy, then I click on that. I'll change the unit from the length unit drop down list. Material is air, and I will select A from the material library. I'm using the one port theory, therefore I need a port for incident acoustic waves. From geometry, I will create a cylinder as an impedance tube. Dimensions are optional and I will insert 25 for radius and 200 mm for height. Also, I'll change axis type. It's time to create a porous material dummy. I will create a work plane and slice the cylinder with it. For example, the porous sample thickness is 30 mm. The cylinder cross section is circular. Therefore, I will select the circular from the drop-down list. Selection after reference access is a compulsory. The next step is defining a domain as a material sample. So I will select poroacoustic domain from the physics tab. I forgot to slice the cylinder with the work plane. Okay, now I can define the power acoustic domain as a material sample. I'm using Delaney Basley Niki model, and this model only needs flow resistivity as a variable. I'm inserting 9000. It's a reasonable and optional number. Okay, I'm going to define a frequency interval. After that, I will create the mesh. Uh, it seems I forgot to define wave amplitude. The absorption coefficient is independent of wave amplitude, so I will insert 1 Pascal.
Everything is okay. It's time to define the absorption coefficient formula. For the purpose, I will define variables from the definitions and write the absorption formula. You can see the absorption coefficient in all of the acoustics books. The reflection coefficient is incident power divided by outgoing power. Okay, I need the 1D plot group to plot the absorption coefficient with respect to frequency. I will select global and write the formula. Then I click on the plot and I see an error. The error was predictable because I define formulas after computing. I have to update solution and click on the plot again. Here you are. This is absorption coefficient. Next step, I want to plot the absorption coefficient with three different flow resistivity. I will enable the parameter sweep and add the flow resistivity parameter. I didn't uh, define it before. So uh, I'm going to the parameter and write it. Uh, the value of parameter is not important because I'm defining my desired values in the parameter sweep. Okay, now we can see the parameter. I'm writing three optional uh, flow resistivity, then I click on compute. From the data set, uh, I will choose the parametric solutions, then I click on flat. We have reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching.